Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. We are coming to you live with a great tip that actually was derived from a customer's own experience who he shared with me and I was quite frankly perplexed by the whole situation. Luckily we came and figured out and got to the bottom of what caused it. It was a situation that I've seen wreck cars. Uh, for him, it almost wrecked his car. Since then, I've watched pictures and seen videos of it happen to several other people who I can only assume are about to wreck their cars. And it relates to parachutes. A lot of us um, are putting our first parachute ever on a car. Today, it's easier than ever to go super fast. And uh, as it is easy to go super fast, the last thought is slowing down. And if you've never had experience with a parachute before, there's just a lot of firsts and a lot of unknown. Luckily, we have a great line of parachute mounts that bolt right to the back of vehicles. They come complete with all the stuff to make it a safe, usable operation without a lot of fabrication skills. Shameless plug, I'll put a link to all those parachute mounts and accessories down in the description below. Don't often do that in these Tech Tip Tuesdays, but I think it's worth it. Uh, you should also check out our other parachute videos um, for other tech tips. Um, there's a lot of things from cables to everything in between that you should definitely be checking out, especially if it's your first one. This one, however, relates to, uh, you may or may not have seen it before, but when somebody releases a parachute, it opens like 10 feet in the air. And you're like, what happened? Uh, the parachute deploys as normal. You know, we haven't changed the mount. It's a vehicle that's had a known or maybe even a new good parachute mount. It's not like some crazy things happening. Um, and the parachute just shoots way up in the air and opens, or maybe it opens with like a dog leg, meaning it's just kind of like lopsided and fallen over to the side. And what happens is either the parachute doesn't deploy correctly, or when a parachute opens super high in the air above the car, it has a tendency to lift the back of the car up. That's dangerous for so many obvious reasons, including the fact that a lot of times when you're on a parachute, you're also on the brake, so when the car lands, it locks and skips the brakes and you turn into the wall, or you come down unpredictably, uh, one of 10 million things. And when you put crosswinds in between us, it just makes it almost a perfect recipe for disaster. This is actually a really simple thing that happens that causes it and a simple way to avoid it. And it pertains completely to how you pack your parachute as well as how you grab it at the end of the track and put it back in the car. So a parachute is uh, a, uh, conglomeration, for a lack of a better term, of a bunch of lines. These lines, if you start getting super comfortable with parachutes or if you just don't pay attention, they all seem like they're right. Uh, there's usually several wings or flaps. Some have three, some have four. We use a three style uh, quite often. We're not here to talk about that today, but there's a center, there's a bunch of flaps, and there's a bunch of lines that meet at one. Now, if this is your first time uh, packing a parachute or you're very new to it, you may not realize, but you can get everything completely inside out. And when you go to pack it, you can actually, if you actually see since I turned it inside out, this line is now on the outside. Uh, but there's actually a way to push the, uh, your spring pilot right through the center of it. And truly, you have no idea it's inside out. If you're a very experienced parachute packing person, you'll notice that things are a little bit weird, but if you aren't, there's a good chance you won't pay attention. And uh, when things are going fast in the pits, you won't pay attention. So basically, if a parachute is inside out, it's really easy to make one flap inside out or the whole system inside out to where this center pole is actually pulling off of a weird direction. And that's exactly and 100% the reason why these parachutes are firing up in the air and, and launching and causing erratic deployment. And then also why they're dog legging. I had a guy come up to me at Texas 2K and said, hey man, can you take a look at this picture? Look how my parachute opened. It's super high in the air. I actually wrecked my car as a result of it. And I'm like, hey, when you pack it, do you pay good attention to how, whether it's inside out or not? And he's like, oh man, I don't know. How I was able to notice it is he had a picture from behind and I noticed like the strapping was different from one, one panel to the next. Uh, which means that there was definitely something inside out on it. For strength reasons, the, uh, these, these nylon lines are actually always gonna be on the outside. Uh, basically, when this opens as a parachute, everything's pushing against this. This is the strongest part of the parachute, so you should see this on the outside of what you're packaging if you uh, have a smooth inside um, as the outside, technically, which would be incorrect. You kind of know that you're doing things differently and it, you'll, it makes sense because you'll see parachutes kind of have like bubbles and that's, they're trapping the air 
and they're trapping the air between the lines. So you can actually see how this, um, the pilot chute falls out the bottom of this thing. So it actually seems like it's not inside out. So um, everything kind of looks correct. And if you grab these uh, here, you can almost basically accomplish packaging it and not even understand it. So, you know, you turn this thing back inside out the right way and uh, it looks similar, but completely different. And this is a safe way and that was the unsafe way. Just make sure that you understand the uniformity. You know, when you're folding it for the last time, you should see everything basically how it needs to be. Another tip that you can uh, take a look at is by the time you fold it all up, you're, you should be able to take all of the lines flat like this and run them, you know, basically take them, you know, at the parachute, lay it down and run them and they should stay, stay flat all the way to their junction. If uh, you get to the junction and one of them's completely upside down or something or turned sideways um, and there's a twist in it, then you possibly know that there's a twist in your panel. So this is a really difficult subject to really give you a surefire way to make sure that it doesn't happen, but paying attention to when you're packaging it um, and putting it back in the bag and making sure you don't have inside out panels or making sure the entire parachute isn't inside out is a uh, good practice to make sure that it doesn't open and deploy like that. Um, another tip to that is that when you get to the end of the track and you're super excited about your pass, grab the parachute at the, uh, at the actual car and push those straps together and pull them all the way back uh, with your hands and then just kind of fold the parachute in a correct manner because you already know it's in a good orientation and carefully set it in the seat. If you pick it up by the, uh, by the spring launcher and throw it inside out and then throw the parachute on top of it and you grab it out backwards and everything, it's a very difficult thing to get that thing reoriented. It's gonna take a lot more time. So the, one of the practices I've got into is almost pre-packaging the parachute at the um, end of the track so that when I go to package it, I'm not trying to twist and untangle and turn things up and down and around. But it's uh, definitely a safety issue. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Um, this is a tough topic to even understand how to like cover, uh, but I definitely wanted to get out there sooner than later because racing season is right around the corner and making sure that everything's properly oriented and folded is the most important thing to making sure a parachute deploys after it actually opens. Um, a unsafe deployment is going to create an unsafe condition and it's really going to do the opposite of what you're hoping a parachute's going to do for you. So that's it guys. Uh, hopefully you understand the importance of paying attention and making sure every panel is in a correct orientation before you start to pack the parachute. It's gonna lead to a lot more safety and uh, if you see a friend that's having parachutes open sky high, you have a pretty good idea how to solve it. If you have ideas for the next Tech Tip Tuesday, please drop them below. This one I got from a race from one of you guys, but I definitely listen. We watch the comment section and uh, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time.